Good morning. Safety message for the week of June 28th is on OSHA's top 10 fines and what must we do? That's going to be my message. Number one on the list is on fall protection. So what must we do? We must make sure training is complete. Proper fit of a harness is completed. Tie-off occurs every time. And that is six feet for construction, four feet for general industry. Uh, Pre-use inspection. That's for every use. And we need to hold each other accountable by communicating with each other in a friendly reminder way. Number two. Hazard communication under general duty. Uh, what we must do, strike that, not general duty, but under uh, general industry 1910. What must we do? Train, use proper personal protective equipment based on the SDS. We must know where at any time to get a SDS. And we also must make sure that the chemicals have labels and that the labels are readable. And last, we must encourage everyone to communicate with each other in a friendly way to address things before someone gets hurt. Respiratory protection. <clears throat> Train, proper fitting, pre-use inspection for every use. Keep clean once Completed the when use is completed, z put in a Ziploc bag to keep them clean. And again, encouraging everyone to communicate with each other before something happens is the purpose. Number four, scaffolding. We must train, we must also do an inspection, we must hold people accountable through communication and no shortcuts, uh, make sure it's put together sturdy, correctly, and that we're using all the proper equipment. Ladders. We must train, must do a pre-use inspection. There must be three points of contact. Never step on the top three rungs of an extension ladder and make sure the Label is readable. Uh, we must make sure that the extension ladder, it's locked in place so that when somebody's climbing on a ladder, that all of a sudden it don't come down on you. It's critical. It's a must. And communicate with each other if we know something and see something. And the last one we're going to cover today, and we'll continue this next week, is on lockout, tagout. Training must be completed. Only authorized employees are to be doing lockout tagout for service and or maintenance of the equipment and or machine. Whenever we're in, oh, excuse me. In addition, we must make certain that we de-energize all sources. So whether it's air, it's pneumatics, hydraulics, it's, uh, uh, Anything uh, that can energize anything. And part of a procedure is we got to make certain that at the end of the year, before the end of the year, that we do an audit on definitely some of our procedures. That's my message for the week. Any questions, please feel free to get a hold of me, 920-912-7233. Have a great and safe week.